Welcome to the 11th Annual Latino Education and Advocacy Day Summit, LEAD. LEAD is a diverse network of researchers and educators, academics, scholars, administrators, writers and artists, students, civic leaders, and social advocates, all of whom share a common interest and commitment to educational issues that impact our Chicano Latino community. Over the past few decades, Latinos have become the largest minority in the nation, with majority populations in many states and regions of the United States, and in some cases, the majority among school-aged children. In many ways, we are now a defining influence on U.S. culture and society. Latino workers also support many sectors of our economy, from local to global. Yet the strength of our schools and communities is difficult to evaluate without focusing on the educational achievements of Chicano Latino students. Today, we honor the outspoken women and men who fought for justice, who established a powerful social, political, and cultural movement that changed the lives of millions of Latinos and inspired generations of future activists. Today, we honor the movement elders Los Mayores del Movimiento. The last 50 years. 50 years ago, brave, bold women and men came out of the barrios, fields, factories, and schools to forge a new movement. And although the struggle for social justice and educational rights did not initiate in the 1960s, this more radical Chicano movement was qualitatively different from that of previous generations. El Movimiento embraced a wide range of urgent issues, including the restoration of land grants, farm workers' rights, educational reforms, voting and political rights, and the emerging awareness of collective history. The socially entrenched negative stereotypes of Mexican Americans in the mass media and discrimination in public and private institutions were also being addressed. A new political consciousness was emerging that included a stronger sense of ethnic solidarity, breaking the shackles of subordinated status in U.S. society, and a greater determination to gain political strength and representation. Creatively, this was also a highly productive period for literature and the arts, and helped cement the validation of our rich Mexican-American ethnicity and cultural traditions. Who are we? We are that generation of 50 years ago whose civic and creative actions stood out from the past. At the time, most people of Mexican descent resisted calling themselves Chicanos. That term was a derogatory label for the sons and daughters of Mexican migrants. However, many of our generation embraced being called Chicano and used it as a symbol of ethnic pride adopting many of the principles of Chicanismo. Self-respect. Self-determination. Pride and cultural rebirth. In short, our movimiento aspired to economic, social, and political equality. We planned and organized many legal actions and legislation, strikes, huelgas, civil rights protests, insurrections, levantamientos, mass rallies, y marchas on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border. Among the most notable demonstrations were the L.A. walkouts and numerous others throughout the U.S. There was the Tlaltelolco massacre in Mexico City, El Plan Espiritual de Aslan, El Plan de Santa Barbara, and the creation of Chicano Chicana Studies. There was the Bilingual Education Act of Title VII, and the initiation of student and youth activist groups like Mayo, the Mexican-American Youth Organization, the United Mexican-American Students, later merged as Mecha, the Brown Berets, y La Raza Unida. I remember the Chicano moratorium against the Vietnam War and the founding of the Chicano Press Association. We also started Católicos por la Raza, and La Comisión Femenil Mexicana Nacional. We had big victories with the National Farm Workers Association that later became known as United Farm Workers, the UFW. 
We also created La Alancia Federal de Mercedes and important organizations such as the Southwest Voter Registration Education Project, the Mexican American Legal Defense and Educational Fund, the Southwest Council of La Raza, and we helped strengthen organizations that came before us, like MAPA, LULAC, the J Forum, y más. We are the Chicano movement, Chicanas y Chicanos en la lucha. The next 50 years. While it is tempting to stroll down memory lane and easy to be nostalgic by reliving our history of radical militancy, we can't afford to just sit back and retell old war stories. LEAD wants to keep our movimiento moving forward into the next 50 years. Although it's important to acknowledge the past achievements, many of the issues we fought for 50 years ago still persist, like education and the abuses of labor, civil, human, and immigration rights. Chicano Latinos continue having some of the highest dropout push-out rates in the nation, score among the lowest on achievement tests, and have low college enrollment and graduation rates. Both our students and teachers have a high mobility rate and are located in racially segregated communities with high poverty rates and attend schools with fewer resources, staffing, and programs. And as movement elders, Los Mayores del Movimiento, we ask ourselves, how can younger generations, many who feel disconnected from the events of the past, take the baton and continue the struggle? There is still much work to be done. We implore our young people to join the Movimiento that we forged 50 years ago. Buscamos jóvenes comprometidos. We're looking for young people who will commit to the struggle like we did long ago. Do as we did. Raise your hand. Step in. And get involved. La lucha continua. The struggle continues. Si se puede! La lucha continua. The struggle continues. Who are we? We are the new generation, the new guard. Somos los jóvenes comprometidos, who are inspired by your actions and energized by your passion. We are you, the dreamers and doers of this generation. Your legacy is ours. Your struggle has given us a voice. Education is of economic imperative and an important civil rights issue for our generation. Education is a right, not a privilege. Creating a more positive future requires greater participation from us all in the democratic process. We must position ourselves to shape the political landscape through voting and increased civic engagement. We will push ourselves and others through the educational pipeline. We will increase the college readiness and success of our people. We will fill the ranks in our schools, institutions, colleges, and universities, and become the future faculty, staff, and administrators, and reflect our country's growing ethnic and cultural diversity. We are strong and accept the mission to make a powerful change in our communities, a change that requires courage, social action, public service, and leadership. Pass the baton. Pass the protest signs. We are ready.